we will meet the leader in Madagascar, namely Mr. Sambo. He is the successor to the throne of the Sima Master Teacher. Wow! How lucky I am to be with you, Gurge. I can get to know the Hyrox in our habitat. But remember, Hayes, you have to watch your attitude and speech. Do not speak if you are not asked and answer briefly and clearly if you are asked. Good morning, Mr. Sambo. How are you today? Hopefully all is well. Yes, thanks for getting here, George. And you know that our grandfather has been waiting for you for a long time. Yes, sir. Sorry for our delay. Why did you bring a friend who is still a stranger to our dynasty, George? Sorry, he's a good friend. Who always accompanies me during the journey here. Enjoy and sorrow. He is hands. So what made you get here so late, George? Sorry, sir, Sambo. I was in need wrong. Our delay was due to the lack of support from all of our friends. We really need subscribe and like which can make us more excited. I know they are all kind. Actually, we have tried to do as good as we can and be loyal to all our friends and try to give them knowledge. Yeah, that's what it is, George. Sometimes we have done good, but others judge it differently. The important thing is you keep trying to do the best for all of our friends. Rest assured that one day you will meet a good friend and subscribe to likes for you. Thank you for your advice and enthusiastic support, Mr. Samuel. Then why did Simma's grandfather really expect my arrival, Mr. Samuel? We all discussed during a meeting of all habitats, and we decided that in the future you will continue to be the leader of the whole country. Why should I? It was a mutual decision, Gorge. That's why Grandpa wants to give you something that only you can receive. Why not, Mr. Samba? Seems too heavy to accept the responsibility. Me and a few friends of mine have suggested, but they have voted for you. And I'm stuck in trouble, George. What mistake did they make for not choosing you, Mr. Samba? Ah, uh, never mind, George. It needs no further discussion. And immediately meet Grandfather at the Hermitage in the Forbidden Forest. Hey, young man. What's your name? I forgot. Sorry, my name is Hans, Master Sambo. Where do you come from? I was born in Sunderland. I met George when he was passing there going to Australia and I went along to accompany him until now. What made you want to be friends and accompany George until now? I really idolized George. He is honest, smart, kind and polite to anyone. Eh, uh, that's enough. You guys keep talking and I'm going to meet Simba's grandpa. And you can get a lot of knowledge from the master of Samba, Hans, because he has a lot of experience since the Ice Age era. George, I'm coming with you. Don't be a, I'm the keeper. It's a private area and only interested people can enter. How is your story in Ice Age? There is excitement, sadness, emotion, and happiness mixed into one. So... The story begins when a mammoth named Manny who lives alone meets a raccoon named Scrit who is constantly trying to save nuts in the frozen ground. Manny then meets a sloth named Sid who is in trouble with a group of dinosaurs after him. Manny and Sid later became friends and teamed up to help a struggled female mammoth find her missing cubs. During their journey, they met some friends, including me, who were looking for food. Manny, Sid, and the mammoth woman eventually find her missing cubs and are able to bring them back to their mammoth group. In the end, Manny decided not to live alone anymore and decided to join the mammoth group and become good friends with Sid. Meanwhile, 
Scrid, who lost his peanuts, continues to find them and causes a disaster that ends the Ice Age. We were in Ice Age Part 2, but after that we never met again and I also don't know where they are now.